everybody. Today we're going to do Christmas stars from sticks. It's pretty simple. Um, you can make your own variations. There's no rules. All you need to do is learn the very basics of a simple five-pointed star, which I'll show you. But apart from that, if you want to take it further, you can. Check out online, YouTube, there's loads of tutorials, Pinterest, of course. Um, and here I've got a little array of different kinds of sticks. I have prepared you a instruction sheet for your packs. The instructions are in here to follow, but equally, of course, as you already know, you can go onto Young Shoes for YouTube and see the demonstration again. So here we have some different sticks. We have skewers for the barbecue, and we have some coffee stirrers, and Kitty craft lolly sticks. Okay, so here you can see a lolly stick one. Here you can see a coffee stirrer one. These are coffee stirrers. You can have a bit of fun, see how many different stars you can uh, make. This one here is willow, like proper basket willow. So if you're a basket maker, you would buy this kind of willow to do your craft. These are just scraps I've had left over. So you can cut your sticks from the garden. You can cut small bits of stick from the garden hedgerow um, to use if you wanted to. So the first thing you need to do is get five sticks. So we shall use five of these skewers. As you're probably aware, they're very pointy. You need to cut them off either with scissors, some wire cutters or some secateurs because they are quite sharp, okay? What you're going to do first is you're going to use some loom bands, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. And to start with, you're gonna just use the elastic bands to connect your star together so that it's easier for you to handle and decorate after. The elastic bands act really as another pair of hands for you while you tie the rest up with either thread of your choice or you can use pipe cleaners if you've got any they're nice and easy to use because of course you don't have to tie knots but there's wire inside so that basically is what you're going to do with your sticks you've got three joined together there you've got two joined together there you can see the beginning of the star shape Okay, I shall just demonstrate how to put them together. Just get yourself a loom band and simply round and round and round and round to secure. Right, so there's your two. When you want to do the three, you just get another one. And basically what you're going to do is add it there. So you've got that sort of a shape. All right. It doesn't matter what colour band I use because it's just for demonstration purposes. So you'll have one of them and you'll have a two as well. So what you have to do okay, is you make a triangle and that will sit on there like that. So I shall just put that one together. The sticks will cross, don't worry about that. That's just naturally how they will lie on top of each other. Okay, and then there's only one remainder to join together. As you can see your stick the star is nearly there. So one more quick, let's do another green one. And you're there. The reason I'm using the elastic bands is not everybody is good at tying tight knots and it can be really frustrating. So if you use the loom bands, they will hold it together for you while you make the shape that you want. Okay. If you want to tie the inside joins like this, you need to do that with thread or wool or equally you could do it with this stuff. And that's what you'll get. You'll get a nice rigid star. You can take off the elastic bands if you don't want them on. 
once you've got what you want and you can get some thread and you can then tie them off yourself taking the elastic bands off one at a time as you go around so wind your thread nice and tightly around get help if you need to if you're not very good at tying knots don't be afraid to ask for help we all need to ask for help sometimes so you just tie that off then and go round, take the bands off, tie it with the thread that you like. Okay. When you're ready, you could decorate that with a little bit of glitter glue. I'm going to use some silver. And you can either cover up those, you can cut them back off if you don't like them. You can just dab some glitter on. I don't know if you can see that very well. But it's just a little bit of sparkle to catch the light, perhaps, all right? The red. It's up to you what colour schemes you like. Okay, <gasps> a bit of glitter here and there. That will be enough. Alternatively, you could get a little bit of greenery out the garden. Okay, make sure you're all tied off before you do this. But you could get a little bit of greenery and tie it on. It might be just enough. You could find a little something with a bit of red on. If you're going to put berries and use berries like holly and the ceanothus in your Christmas decorations, please be careful of berries with young children. Please be aware. Also, if you bring any greenery in like holly, here we have holly, they are all poisonous, these plants, so be very, very careful of young children, please. Okay. But if they're out of the reach of children, then decorate away. Okay. Choose your colours. Make a hanger. All right. If you want to make a hanger, you just need to get some thread. Double it. Tie it in a knot. And basically... You will put it through the star and then through the loop. You've got hanger. Okay. If you tie these centre ones with knots, make sure your knots are all on the same side, preferably the back. Okay. I think that's about it. This willow, these sticks here are... Um, are very bendy when they're fresh. Uh, I brought one here, which I cut on the way here. Look how bendy. So if you wanted to make a wreath or a hoop, lots of garden cuttings will do this if you wanted to go a bit further. It's very, very easy to do. Okay, very easy. Probably don't need that big hefty end. Okay, but I'm rushing, you could take much more time than I. And if you've got some secateurs, you would just cut that off or some old scissors will do it. You can shape them up, you can do what you want, okay? But it is possible to make a little hoop if you wanted to make a little Christmas wreath also. Okay. Um, decorate, make hangers with the pipe cleaner if you want the sparkle to go with your glitter. Feel free, create what you want and have some fun. Bye for now.